Hi everyone, welcome back to The Mat. I'm Kate Goslin, and today I will guide you to this feel-good yoga flow. I will not use any props today, but if it's in your practice, please feel free to do so. And let's begin with sitting on the mat. Can do, we're gonna start with butterfly pose. You're gonna bring the sole of the feet together. Sit nice and tall, and then just take long deep breath in through the nose, lengthening the spine, and as you exhale, bring your palms or your elbows down and fold. You can roll your back, relax your head, your neck down. And just breathing in and out through the nose, nice and slow, steady breathing. And just notice how your body feels. Maybe you can feel the sensation on you grow in your inner thighs or your hips or even your lower back. <clears throat> And now inhale, come up and you can sit and cross your legs, sit nice and tall and drop your left ear down to your left shoulder. You can release your fingertips down on the mat, feel the sensation on your neck. and relax your right shoulder down so you feel more. And now switch to the other side. Drop your right ear down towards to your right shoulder. Left shoulder down and breathing through the side of your neck. And now come back to the center. And from here, you're gonna stretch your right leg out to the side. Sit nice and tall, both hips on the mat. Inhale, arms up, lengthening the spine. And exhale, twist right arm on top of the left knee and left fingertips behind your hips and look towards to your left shoulder. Long deep inhale, lengthening. And exhale, see if you can twist deeper. Keep your right hip down. And inhale, arms up, back to the center. Turn your body to your right leg and exhale, fold. You can just bring your palms down. You don't have to be able to touch your toes. Maybe this is the first practice of the day, your body is still stiff, and that is fine. You can try to move with your breath. Deep inhale, lengthening, and exhale, fold. Breathing. Don't hold your breath. And inhale, come back to the center. And we're gonna switch this time. Right heel in, left leg out to the side. Inhale, arms up, lengthening the spine. And exhale, twist to the right. Right fingertips behind your hips and left palm on your right knee. And look over to your right shoulder.
Inhale, arms up. Back to the center and turn your body to the left. And exhale. Fold over to your left leg. Long deep breath in and out through the nose. And inhale, come back to the center. This time, cross your legs and find your way to tabletop or all four palms underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Move your spine here, cat and cow. Inhale, arch your back, belly, drop your belly down, lift your chest up, look up. And exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Deep inhale, arch your back, look up. And exhale, round. Deep inhale. And exhale, round. Deep inhale. And exhale, round. One more time, deep inhale. And exhale, round your back. Chin to your chest. Back to neutral. Gonna tap your toes, walk your hands a little bit forward. Engage your core, lift your hips up. Downward facing dog. And you can walk your dogs. Lift your heels up and down. You bend your knees. And you can find stillness in the pose. If your hamstrings are too tight, bend your knees. Tuck your belly in. And lift your tailbone high. Press your chest towards your thighs. Relax your head, your neck. And now. Look forward. Just walk a little bit by bit, step by step to the top of the mat. <clears throat> and halfway lift. <clears throat> and breathe. Feel your hamstrings. Long deep inhale. Exhale, ragdoll. You can bend your knees, grab opposite elbows. And rock side to side. You can rest your torso on your thighs. And now, slowly come up vertebrae by vertebrae. come to standing. Roll your shoulders back. Come to the top of the mat. You can have your toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, cactus your arms, bend your elbows, opening your chest, hips a little bit forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, walk back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three legged dog. Try to bring your right shoulder down. And exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Come up to runner's lunge, come up on your fingertips, look forward. 
back heel high feel the sensation on your the front of your left thigh and now drop your left foot down turn your left foot 45 degrees slowly come up to warrior one arms up right knee bend relax your shoulders down see if you can bring your left hip forward right hip back push your way to the outer side of your left foot and breathe exhale arms back airplane squeeze your shoulder blades together Inhale, come back to warrior, warrior one, arms up. And exhale, turn to warrior two, back foot turn 90, right knee bend. Gazing towards your right fingertips, opening your right knee out. Inhale, arms up, right leg straight. Exhale, right knee bend, warrior two. Two more rounds like this, deep inhale, arms up. Exhale, right knee bend, warrior two. Deep inhale, arms up. And exhale, back to warrior two, and breathe and stay. Relax your shoulders down. And now hands over your hips, turn your toes in, heels out. Deep inhale, lengthening the spine, and exhale, forward bend here, halfway down. Push your hips back, shoulders away from ears, just breathing through your hamstring. Exhale, release your fingertips down and fold. Your hands can hold your toes or your ankles. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from ears. Don't crunch your neck. Engage your core and lift your tailbone high. Breathing nice and slow, steady breathing. See if you can shift your weight a little bit forward. And now, halfway lift. Fingertips down and walk your hands to the left and stretch. And walk your hands to the right. And turn your right toe to the top of the mat here. Fingertips frame your right foot. Come back to runner's lunge. And inhale, left palm down, right arm up, lunge twist. Exhale, right palm down, right leg back to plank. We're gonna do side plank, left arm up. If it's too much for you, you can bring your right knee down. Keep pushing your hips high. And now back to plank. Exhale, knee, chest, chin down or chaturanga. Keep your elbows in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Your practice, your choice. Keep your shoulders away from ears. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Three like a dog. Give your left shoulder down. And exhale, left foot forward between your hands, runner's lunge. Come up on your fingertips, look forward. Feel the sensation on your, the front of your right thigh.
And now drop your right foot down, turn your right foot 45, come up onto warrior one. Left knee bend, arms up. And see if you can bring your right hip forward, left hip back. Push your weight to the outer side of your right foot. Relax your shoulders down. And exhale, arms back, airplane. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, back to warrior one, arms up. And exhale, turn to warrior two. Left knee bend, gazing towards to your left fingertips. Inhale, arms up, left leg straight. Exhale, bend your left knee back to warrior two. Two more rounds, deep inhale, arms up. And exhale, bend your knee. Deep inhale, arms up. And exhale, back to warrior two. And breathe. Keep your shoulders down. And now hands over your hips. Turn your toes in, heels out. This time you're going to interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest up. Look up. Hips slightly forward. And exhale, forward fold. You can bend your knees, bring your arms over your head. Shift your weight forward. And now slowly release your fingertips down, halfway left. This time, side lunge, turn your right toe out, right knee bend, walk your hands to the right. If your hips are tight, you can just stay here, you don't have to go down. You can use the block, but if you can go down, you're going to have your left foot flex. Use your right elbow opening, your right knee out. Feel your growing here, feel your inner thighs. And now, switch to the other side, walk to the left, left toe out, right foot flex. Left elbow opening your left knee out. And then turn to the top of the mat, back to runner's lunge, come up on your fingertips. And right palm down, inhale, left arm up, side lunge. And exhale, left palm down, back to plank, left leg back. This time side plank, right arm up. Put your hips high. You can bring your left knee down. Keep your core engaged. And exhale back to plank. And knee chest chin down or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. And bend your right knee, opening your knee, opening your hips. Kick your knee high. Back to three-legged dog. Keep your shoulders square. And exhale, pigeon pose. You can bring your knees between your hands. Knees can bend 45 or 90, depending on your flexibility. Walk your back knee, left back knee. And come up on your fingertips here. Fingertips can frame your right shin. Chest a little bit up.
forward and breathe. And now exhale, fold. You can bring your forearms down or you can stay where you are. Try to bring your left thigh down. And now inhale, come up. You're gonna shift your weight to your right, bring your left leg forward. Here we're gonna do fire lock, right shin, 90 degree and left ankle on top of the right knee and it's okay if your left knee is high it's totally fine you can support with the block or you can just stay where you are if you have more flexibility take long deep inhale and exhale you can bring your palms in front of your shin or you can bring your elbows down my body is really tight today so i'm not going to go too far just stay here and feel, maybe you feel the sensation on your left hips, the other side of your left hip. Breathing through the discomfort. And inhale, come up. And this time, you're going to straight your right leg, left knee on top of your right knee. Keep your right foot flex. Sit nice and tall. Bring your elbows out here in front of you. Right elbow on top of the left. Eagle arms. You can do half bind or full bind. Keep your shoulders down, but elbows high. And feel the upper shoulder, upper body here. And now you can drop your thumb to your third eye, deep inhale. And exhale, lift your elbows high, look up. And then you can release your arms, bring your palms down, frame your right leg and fold. You can release your forehead down to your left knee. You feel a lot of sensation on maybe your IT band or your hamstring. Breathing. Through the discomfort, breathing to the tight area. And inhale, release. And you're going to step your left foot down over to the right leg. Right arm, hug the left knee closer to your chest. Deep inhale, left arm up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twist, left fingertips behind your hips and look over your left shoulder. Keep both hips on the mat. And inhale, release back to the center. And you're going to find your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Left knee bend. Opening your hips. Kicking your left knee high. Back to three-legged dog, hip square, shoulder square. 
And now, pigeon pose. Left knee between your hands. Your shin can be 45 or 90. And you're gonna walk your right knee back a little bit more so you feel more stretch here. And fingertips frame your left shin. And slowly bring your chest up high. Shoulders down. Long deep inhale. And now exhale. Bring your forearms down. Or just bring your palms out or stay where you are. Breathing through the outer side of your left hip. And now inhale back up here. Shift your weight to your left hip. Bring your right foot forward here. Left knee. Left shin turn 90. Right ankle on top of the left knee. And stay here in the fire lock pose. You can stay upright or lock. take long deep inhale. And exhale, bring your palms down in front of your shin. You don't have to go far to feel the other side of your right hip. If you have more flexibility, you can bring your forearms down. straight your left leg forward and right knee bend on top of your left knee keep your left foot flex bend your elbows bring your elbows in front of you left elbow on top of the right half bind or full bind relax your shoulders down feel your upper back And then you're going to drop your left thumb to your third eye. Deep inhale, lift your elbows up. And now exhale, release your palms down, forehead down to your right knee. This is an intense stretch. Just keep breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale. Back to the center. And Bring your right foot down over to the left leg. Left arm hug the right knee closer to your chest. Deep inhale, right arm up. And exhale, twist. Right fingertips behind your hips. You can look over your right shoulder. Remember to keep both hips down on the mat. And inhale back to the center. And you're going to find your way to your downward facing dog. Last down dog of the day. And then drop your knees down. Come to child's pose. You can have your knees wide, mat width apart. Toes together. Bring your hips down to your heels. Walk your hands forward, forehead down. We're going to do the active 
child's pose here you're gonna come up on your fingertips and stay here you feel your shoulders feel your back And inhale, release. And you can come up and sit in your comfortable seated position. You can cross your legs, sit on your heels. Any comfortable seated position for you. Roll your shoulders back. Palms can be on your thighs or on your knees. And close your eyes. Relax your shoulders down. And take long deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale through the nose. Long deep inhale, feel your chest rise. Exhale, your neighbors draw towards the spine. Long deep inhale. Long exhale. Come back to your normal breathing. Enjoy your palms between your chest and thank yourself for being here, for, for practicing, for spending time with yourself. Namaste. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and a happy new year. And I'll see you in the next video.